It was in 1863. Pennsylvania has oil, and then Cleveland has the refineries. What really happened? There were certain things that were not possible in Cleveland, but there were certain things that were also possible in Cleveland. And then you have two businessmen. You have Rocky Feather and his business partner saying, let's go to Cleveland and let's build our refinery. They built the refinery. It was actually a very, a very successful refinery. And then some things came up in time. There were debts and there were some misunderstandings. Then this other partner of Rockefeller, he left the company. Rockefeller actually bought him out for about $72,000 thereabouts. And then for the next five years, John D. Rockefeller grew this business to me. He was producing, I think, 1,500 barrels per day. And then the company, that is the company, not to be that standard for him. If you look at his net worth, then, and you evaluate it now, so much bigger. What does that tell you? The partner of John Rockefeller, he lacked vision and he lacked patience. He lacked vision and he lacked patience. So in the crypto space today, you want to be very, very, very careful what you actually do. Disruption is actually what makes people wish. You talk about the internet boom. You have computers, Facebook, Amazon, Yahoo, me, this, Hotmail, this, this, this. The founders of this company has made 40. Those that invested also made 40. The oil disruption made John D. Rockefeller rich. Henry Ford, when people were riding on carnage and horses, and people said, You're going to bring the device that will take us from point A to point B. That is crazy. But the crazy man was actually the one that succeeded. So I, I want to beg you that there is a disruption now going on. It's the disruption of the blockchain. Please settle it in your heart. Everyone is not going to make it. Number three, number two, everyone is not going to make it big. And then settle it. Not everyone. Is going to lose. Not everyone is going to make it, not everyone is going to lose, and not everyone is going to make it big. It all depends on what you are able to do. It all depends on the issue of diligence. It all depends on the issue of patience and seeing the long term vision. Lots of money has been raised, many of them are not doing a lot of things, but we hope that the investment you are making, the investment I am making, it actually help us in the long term. I want to say this, that it is happening again. Disruption is happening again. It's in the field of blockchain, it's in the field of internet. There are many people who, do, who, have, who have not still understood the power of the internet. It's happening. Take your time. Make the research. Apply the blockchain to your business. That is what this channel is all about. It's not just to make a quick book. Whatever we want to apply the blockchain to your business in advertising, um, the gig economy, this and that, apply it to your business. And you will actually succeed. There are three things that you have to note that is actually going on in our world today, either in the blockchain space or not. One of them is the issue that many people do not do their homework. Listen, it's very, very hard. When it comes to investment, you have to do your research. There are many people who are not to be reading the wise path. Who are not putting the check marks like saying okay this 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 and all that and they expect to be very successful it's not so you have to do your homework you have to lend us key you have to do this disruption is at the door my friends the other thing again is that you should not get scammed even though we're talking about the issue of Rockefeller we're talking about this and all that always know that many of these crypto projects are going to go down to zero that is why you have to do your homework and the other thing again is that cautious 